Hello and welcome to the BMW Wizard. Um, this is the intro and how to set the tool up to do its basic operations. From this start screen here, uh, we'll start with the settings first. Open this page up and we will see that we've got uh, you know, screen brightness controls, we've got sound volume, system date, Wi-Fi settings, update the server which we'll come back to later, and the vehicle interface. I want to pick that one for right now. And Right now we have a check mark on the wizard um, interface here. Um, it's one you can use for about all operations. If uh, you have some OEM equipment, you can also choose the uh, like the ICOM A or A2. Um, in here is going to be settings. Uh, right now we're going to tell it no, we don't really want to do that. But uh, in here is the ops and the settings of it. You'll have to enter the IP address in order to uh, make that one operational. Basically exactly the same as the, uh, the ISTA program. Also in pass-through, uh, you'll have settings you can either pick whichever one you're using, a Kardec Plus 2 or a Mongoose. So there's also an engineering interface that you can use as well for a lot of the older E-Series cars. Um, right now we're going to be using the Wizard uh, interface today so we're going to leave that one checked and we're just going to go down and hit save and yes that's what we want to save and so now we're uh, <clears throat> we're good to go I'm going to go back and now we're actually we have the key turned on on the car and so we're going to hit the start button this here will bring us to the actual wizard operational page Now from this main startup page, we can see we're in the car selection mode. And there's automatic, there's also basic, there's identification by VIN, and also by development model. You can do these three um, manually if you like. In the automatic detection mode, you simply come down to the bottom, hit automatically identify it, and it'll figure out what the car is um, directly from one of the gateways on the vehicle. So here we have a 3 Series, a 328i. Um, it's an E90 chassis and the rest of the information about the vehicle is there. So we're going to hit apply this section. Now that's going to give us the, the operations we need to continue with the vehicle. So here when we go in and read the vehicle, it gives us the complete vehicle order um, of the vehicle and then also gives us a chance to look at each individual module in, um, one at a time and then to be able to go in and do whatever operations that we want to do so we're going to go ahead and let it start getting the ECU list from the car and just follow the prompts there like it says please wait you'll see down here in the left hand corner uh, you'll see some modules start popping up real quickly as it's identifying each one of the different controllers going through the gateway now, sometimes this can take four or five minutes depending on the how complex the, the vehicle is you're working on. And now over here it says that it's ready to go. So we've got all the information logged into the system. And so the next thing we do is go to control modules. And here is a complete list of all the um, modules that it's found on this vehicle. And off this tab here we can see these are all the standalone modules that are all uh, separate by themselves in the, on the CAN bus. And these here uh, modules um, on the aggregate, there can be combined modules um, internally within these modules, where there can be two, three, four, multiple modules inside one uh, inside one uh, box itself. So now we go back here and to start doing the different operations, which are available once we're in the control module function here. Over here, you can see fault codes, actuation live data, coding, flashing, and general reports. These are all done from this uh, main screen where we have each of the control modules listed individually. Also, there's other procedures in here. We'll get into a little bit later. As you can see, emergency flashing, vehicle order, complete coding, technical information system, getting the, getting the original vehicle order, and so forth. Those are also in here. Then there's vehicle functions. In here you can fix the VIN, trans adapts, uh, the learning 
Uh, you can reset all the adaptation values for a smooth running engine. There's where the active steering reset is, the SCL, DSC. Um, as you can see, each one of them. This re resets all ECUs on the vehicle. You can reset starting time, uh, register battery, right? Starting time, just everything in here, you know, can be done individually one at a time. We go back over to the control modules and um, start here. So if we click on DME, we can see here that uh, it has one fault code in it, which is listed right here as one. So it shows the code number and the powertrain management closed circuit current violation. Uh, down here is basically the freeze frame of when that happened. So at this point, if you're in this uh, block right here, you can delete this fault code on this computer only, and you can reread the fault code only. Now you can also delete the, all the vehicle faults completely. Every module on the car, you'll delete all the faults. And then if you want, you can reread everything immediately following that to see if there's any hard codes that are set. So that the difference there is doing the delete and, and uh, reread in this block does one module only that you're connected to. Doing this does the entire vehicle. So we go down here to DSC. Looks like it's another one. It's red. It has one code in it also, again, right here. And it gives you the code information and so forth. Um, you can try the fix button here also. And in here, you can get into the different troubleshooting uh, portions of the software. So you can pick the, these, these two different categories on this one. I'm going to exit back out. So. All the modules over here that are in black are clean and have no codes in them. All of them over here that have that are in red will have codes in them. And so from here, if we want to see live data, we can go back to one individual module at a time again, like we're checked on here, and we can go to live data. Um, and then this pulls up a, a menu. It gives us different um, groupings of uh, segments in that module that has uh, capability. So we can click on any of these, open them up. There's an operating mode. We'll see what opens up on it. Oh, we got that twice. We'll take that out in a second. Brake pressure for the wheels. I'm going to double click, put that one in there. Um, now we got two of those in there, so we're going to double click it and take one of them out. Um, steering angle sensor. We'll put those in. See, as you see, you go to the different groups. You can open different groups, and you can put these in um, one at a time. You can put multiple ones in. So once you have a list here of different data parameters, you go down here now and you hit Acquire Data. And now you get your live data over here in the value blocks. That's actually what is coming from the DSC computer right at this time. So as you see, if we move the steering wheel, you can actually see the, the changes there on the steering angle sensor. So also, if you want, you can graph all of these. And you can see there where we turned the steering wheel. The other ones have all stayed steady. So know that graphing is capable in all these different modes as well. Then if you stop acquiring, now you can go back in here and you can take any of these out you want, you know, one at a time. So I'm put them back. Um, so that pretty much does it for the uh, live data. This is the same thing on all modules on the vehicle. You have this capability of looking into the different data stream on them. Uh, if we want to get into actuation, we can actually turn different, different functions on on the vehicle through that module. So here, pull up pump motor, double click it, and We paused it by double clicking it again, but the pump was on there uh, just for a few seconds. So 
That way you can look and see if it's actually being able to uh, drive a function on the vehicle. Now the other modes in here are coding, flashing, and general reports. We'll come back to these uh, in another uh, video training section uh, shortly after this. We're going to exit right now from the wizard and go back to the main screen.